Developing tonight, claims a foster parent has been sexually abusing girls in his care for almost 20 years. The girls kept coming forward, dating back to 2000. Even the man's wife reported it. CYFD, police, the district attorney's office, therapists, a lot of people had heard the allegations. Tonight on Special Assignment, why the man kept getting away with it. I thought, 20 years, oh my gosh, this has been happening for 20 years. CYFD Secretary Monique Jacobson says an Albuquerque couple had been treatment foster parents since 1997, taking in higher needs children with behavioral problems. This nonprofit licensed by CYFD called Family Works would place children in the couple's home. We're not naming the man because he hasn't been charged, but a search warrant of this business last month uncovers disturbing allegations from eight girls and disturbing allegations workers here often blew off what children told them. In 2000, the district attorney decides not to prosecute after a 16-year-old told deputies her foster father had raped her. In 2012, a 15-year-old has similar claims. CYFD told Albuquerque police, but documents stated appears APD never investigated. There's another claim by a 10-year-old in 2015. Family Works tells a CYFD, we only reported it because we had to, not because we were concerned. In 2017, a six-year-old says he touched her private parts. It was the man's own wife who called Family Works to report it. Later that year, the couple tells Family Works the little girl's private parts are injured. No one called CYFD or the police about those two cases. In between, CYFD was called one time to check on the girl after another foster child told an adult that their foster dad was looking at the six-year-old inappropriately. The girl told CYFD she didn't want to talk about it and was returned to the foster home. How did all these people miss that this was going on? I think this is where a, a few things come into play. Secretary Jacobson says there's more to these cases, but she can't talk about them. She did have experts review how CYFD handled them. It's one of those situations where we go back and we look and we say, okay, we did this, we did what we expected, and we still didn't get to the bottom of what was happening. Finally, in April, an APS school counselor contacts CYFD about a 10-year-old claiming her foster parent was touching her in a sexual manner. A CYFD investigator started digging into his past, uncovering the history of allegations. I truly believe, had it not been for these investigators, I think children could have been in that house for another 20 years. When CYFD notified Family Works about the investigation into the foster parent, they say Family Works still wanted to place girls in his home, saying the couple needed the money they get paid for taking children in. CYFD launched an audit into Family Works and found the director wasn't properly licensed. CYFD revoked their license in July. They're still open while cases are being transferred. We tried to get a comment, but no one wanted to talk. Jacobson says CYFD workers and treatment coordinators went to the man's home each week. To be so bold as to, to do that when you are hurting these children is it's mind-boggling to me i think you know we've talked about it as as almost super predators so why didn't police investigate some of these cases apd says they cannot comment as they investigate the man involved despite no charges yet cyfd says he will never be able to foster again in new mexico